Hi, this is next part of inline or live table add edit delete MySQL data by using PHP and in this part we will see how can we insert or add new records inline by using Angular JavaScript with PHP. In previous part of this tutorial series we have seen how to fetch data from MYSQL table and display on web page and how to use ng template and ng include directive. For insert data first we have make form, so here we have write form name is equal to test form and whole table has been added into this form. After this we want to add one blank row in start of table, so here we have write open and close table row tag and between this tag we have write open and close table data tag. Between this tag we have write input type is equal to text, ng model directive is equal to add data dot first name and ng required directive is equal to true. By using ng model directive we can fetch value of this tag and ng required is equal to true means this field data is required. In second table data tag we have write input type is equal to text, ng model directive is equal to add data dot last name and ng required directive is equal true. In third table data tag we have write button type is equal to submit and ng disabled directive is equal to form name test form dot dollar invalid. This ng disabled directive will disable this submit button and it will be enable if we have enter data in both text box field. So here we do not want to write any validation code, it will be handled by this ng required and ng disabled directive. Above this form we want to display success message after insert update and delete data operation, so here we have use bootstrap alert class and under this class we have write ng show directive is equal to success. By using this directive we can show and hide HTML element, under this alert class we have write angular javascript expression with name success message, we will set this value in angular javascript code. Now we have moved to write angular javascript code for insert data. So here first we have write dollar scope dot add data variable is equal to blank array, this form field ng model name. Below this we have write dollar scope dot success is equal to false, this will hide ng show success html element on web page. Below this we have write dollar scope dot insert data is equal to function, this function will insert data into MYSQL table. Under this function we have write dollar HTTP Ajax with first option method set to post, URL set to insert dot PHP. In data option we have write dollar scope dot add data variable which is name of ng model directive and by using this directive we can fetch form field data. Now we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server which we can access from this data argument. Under this function we have write dollar scope dot success is equal to true, this code will display success ng show html element on web page.
After this we have write dollar scope dot success message expression is equal to data dot message, here we have defined data dot message value to the success message variable. Below this we have write dollar scope dot fetch data function, this function will fetch data from sample table and display on web page. Lastly under this function we have write dollar scope dot add data variable is equal to blank array, this code will clear form data. Now we have moved to write PHP code in insert.php page, and here on this page first we have write include statement with database connection.php, this code will make database connection on this page. For receive data from Angular JavaScript function we have write dollar form data variable is equal to json decode function and under this function we have write file get contents function and under this function we have write php input stream. Here this file get contents function has been fetch form data from this PHP input stream in JSON string format and by using JSON decode function it will convert into PHP array object. Now we have write dollar data variable is equal to array with key double colon first name value get from dollar form data first name object and double colon last name key value get from dollar form data last name object. So here we have store form data under this dollar data variable in array format. After this we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into sample table with table column first name, last name values get from double colon first name and last name. This is simple insert data query. After this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable it will make query for execution. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this we have write dollar data variable. If query successfully run then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write dollar message variable is equal to data inserted. After this we have write dollar output variable is equal to array with message key value get from dollar message variable. Now we want to send this data to Angular JavaScript function, so we have write echo statement with JSON encode function with dollar $output variable, this function will convert array to JSON string and send to Angular JavaScript function. Now we have go to index page and here in form field here we have write ng click directive is equal to insert data function, so when form has been submitted then it will called insert data function. Friends here our code is ready now we have check output. So here we can see when MYSQL table data in table format with edit and delete button, so we have refresh page. After refresh of web page we can see table 1 table row has been added at start of table with two text box for enter first name and last name details with disabled add button. This button will be enabled only after we have filled both text box with data, so here we have filled first name text box but add button is not enabled. 
After this we have filled last name text box with data, so now we can see add button has been enabled, so by using ng disabled and ng required directive we can use for form validation. Now we have click on add button, after click on this button we can see that data inserted success message on web page, so here our code working for how to use Angular JavaScript for inline insert data with PHP. Here we have also seen how can we use ng required and ng disabled directive for form validation and we have also discuss inline add or insert of new records in MySQL database by using Angular JavaScript with PHP. In next part we will discuss how can we inline update or edit of data by using Angular JavaScript with PHP. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.